Hi guys and welcome back to Daniel Lad UK and in this episode I'm going to show you four tricks on how to speed up your fire stick. A lot of people come to me saying I'm getting a lot of buffering, a lot of lagging, I'm getting a lot of voices that are out of sync and there is actually some simple solutions you can do to actually fix this. They're not that hard of steps to do. I'm going to show you four ways straight after this. Hi guys, welcome back. So as I said before, we're going to show you how to fix the buffering issues on some fire sticks. A lot of this is actually caused by cache buildup and a lot of data that's left behind when you remove apps. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you the easiest way to completely clear the fire stick and get it back to how it should be working. So what you want to do first, you want to go back to the settings. So you're going to go all the way across to My Fire TV. Click on that, down, and then you're going to go reset to factory settings. What this does, it completely clears the stick, so it's like a brand new stick. So once you set it up, this will erase everything. So what you need to do then is install the apps that you want to install, but first you'd have, you obviously have to put all your details in, your email address and your password for the Amazon, but it'd be like a brand new stick, so you can go from there. That is one of the easiest ways to do it and it doesn't take long, probably takes about five to 10 minutes to do its updates and its reset, and then you're back to a brand new stick. So you've got to weigh up the options here. If it's going to take you five to 10 minutes to clear the stick and go through the apps and clear the cache, or is it going to be quicker just to reset? So I would suggest a lot of people just to go click that button, wipe it, completely wipe it. So the next thing we're going to talk about is depending on what stick you have, we are going to look at the, at the moment, we'll say the first and the second gen fire stick. There's some simple tricks you can actually do to actually stop quite a lot of the buffering on the stick. What you've got to think of, these sticks don't have a lot of memory, they don't have a lot of RAM, the CPU isn't very good in them. So there is some things you can actually switch off in the settings. So if we go over to preferences, and if we go down to like privacy settings, if you switch all this off, this is going to speed up the stick. So it's going to stop looking for certain things that aren't really there. Everything slows these sticks down. So you data monitor in, if you go into there, you can switch all that off. And if you go down to your featured content, so that video you've got at the beginning where it comes across in the big bar, that won't play at all. The picture will still be there, but the video and the audio won't be there. So that will speed up the start of the stick. Uh, and then if we go back out, I'm going to go over to applications. Go to the app store part. I'm going to switch all this off as well. So the automatic updates, which automatically updates your apps. You don't really need that because when you click on your app, it will tell you there's an update due and then you can do that yourself. So switch that off. Your external market links when it's looking for something else. So when you click on an app and it says open up, say, a web browser, you haven't got a web browser on your Fire Stick. So that just shuts that off. It will ask you again. Turn your in-app purchases off, notifications off and hide your iCloud apps on, turn that on. Because at the beginning where you get that little symbol on your your apps that you've uninstalled, they won't be there anymore, they will absolutely clear it. So they're just a few little tweaks you can actually use. And depending on what stick you have, this is the, I'm actually running this on a Fire TV. So this is classed as a second generation stick. There is an application that you can actually use, which I do use quite a lot. So. If I go down to there, I have Clean Master TV. This is one of the best apps for the first and the second gen stick. I'll show you how to install these after this video. So if we click on that, and what it does, it optimizes, it picks up all the cache, it picks up all the left behind data, and clears it. So it completely speeds the stick up. So 84%. It's pretty slow for a little, you know, for one of these devices. So if we click the boost, and that will complete 
and that's it. So that will completely speed the stick up. So if we just go over to the settings just to make sure that it's actually cleared the cache, sometimes that app can be a little bit hit and miss. So what I tend to do, if I go down to the applications now, if I go down to manage installed apps, what you're looking for at the bottom here where it says cache, if you go past your apps, they should all say a minimum of 12 KB. That That is obviously the what it needs as a base. So it has cleared the cache, so great stuff. So that's the second way you can actually sort this stick for the first and gen, as I said. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna show you the 4K stick on how to do that. So all these settings need to be off, exactly the same for the 4K stick as you showed before. Switch all them off, and then I'm gonna show you an app which will work for the 4K sticks as Clean Master is not updated their app yet. I have emailed them asking them to update the app, but I've had no correspondence. So, so what we'll do is show you SD made on how that works. It's really quick, as quick as that one to be fair. The application we're gonna use now for the 4K sticks is SD made. This is really good considering it can go into depth if you really want it to. There is a lot of other things you can actually use on the other side, which I tend not to use. The only thing I tend to use now is at the bottom there where it says scan. If you just go down to that and you click on there, what it's gonna do, it's just gonna scan. It's pretty much similar to the other app and it will pick up all your cash. It will pick up all your crap. As I showed you before, I've, I've, I've not got a lot of stuff on this device itself so what we'll do if we just go back down to run click that and you click the run that's it that's all you have to do with this app as I said you can actually go into depth on the other side and go searching around and removing the old backups and stuff like that but you really don't have to so what I'm gonna do now this is a little bit more tricky but it's going to help you a hell of a lot so, we're gonna talk about your router now. So, a lot of people have recently updated to like a fiber, a faster fiber. Well, these fiber routers actually have 5G. So 5G, you get 2.4 GHz and then you get a five gigahertz, right? So the five gigahertz is obviously the faster speeds for the router. So some people still have it on a 2.4 gigahertz settings. So, the stick itself isn't running as fast as it could be. So you need to actually select the five gigahertz on your router. So some people, when their router is visible in the wireless, so when you click your wireless, it might say five gigahertz at the end. That is the dual band section of the router. So you need to click on the five gigahertz using the same password. And if it's not there, and you know you have a dual band router, I'm gonna show you some settings now on the computer on how to enable the 5G. So, let's look. If you go to the top to the search bar, this should be a standard for most routers. It's 192.168.1.1. And if you click on that, it should bring up your router settings. So as you can tell, mine's all up there. So what I need to do now, I need to sign in. So your admin is, Nine times out of 10, most routers are admin, admin, but on the back of some routers, there is like a little pin. It'll say on the back of your router, there's a little pin. Uh, and all you have to do is put that in there for your password. So once you pop your password in there, all you have to do is click your sign in. All this will be different on yours. This is just the one I use at home. So if we go into them settings, click save for that. So what we need to do now is, if you go up to your wireless there, you see where my little mouse is there? If you click that settings there, as I said before, it'd be different on most routers. What it is, is your frequency band, what you need to do is enable your 5G. So this is a dual band router, so you need to make sure that the 5G is enabled. So if we go onto So as you can see on mine, on the left, it says access point five gig. So this is both. So this is switched on, that's switched on. 
And what I would suggest while you're actually in here is change your channel. A lot of people do struggle with jumping on the same channel. I mean, speaking about Wi-Fi, people down the street, everyone next door, a few up the road down there, everyone tends to be running on channel three to channel five. So what I would do here, I would probably chuck it out the box. Not many people know how to enter their auto settings. So change your channel, change your channel to something else. So someone else is not on the same channel as you. You could be, you're on channel 10, they're on channel five, next door's on channel five. So you get the gist, everyone's using the exact same channel in the area. So if you actually save that now, that should, fingers crossed, speed everything up. So you shouldn't actually get any of the buffering because you're not actually jumping on anyone else's channel. So now you're five gigs enabled, you've got your two gig enabled, on your router, it will say, so you need to go to your wireless, you need to search then for your wireless settings. If it says five gigahertz at the end of your access, so you see man, that's man there up there. So this will say five gigahertz at the end, that one, and it'll say 2.4 gigahertz. So select that one, put your pin in, and then save it on that. So then your Fire Stick, or your Fire TV, or your Android device, is all running on the five gig. Because if it's running on the five gig, it's unlocked the download speeds from your router and your upload speeds. This is one of the absolute must if you really want to solve the buffering issues. So that's your router settings. So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna show you how to install both of these applications. So you've all done this before. I do repeat myself quite a lot. So we'll start off by going all the way to the top. If we go, all the way across to the settings. We go down across to My Fire TV. Click on that. Then go down to your developers options. You need to make sure both of these are switched on. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to access the market. You're not going to be able to download the apps. So your ADB debugging and the apps from the unknown sources. Make sure both of them are switched on. So you click your home button. And what we're going to do, we're going to go left and search for downloader. It should be at the top, seeing as this is one of the most downloaded apps. So scroll down to that, click on that, and if you've not got it installed, just quickly install it, and then just open it up. As you can see, I've got this installed, so what we need to be putting in that URL at the top is get.filelinked.com, and I will pop this in the description. So once that's in there, if you just click go, what it's going to do now is going to install file linked directly to your fire stick so once you've got that install it then just open it up so the code what you're going to actually be putting in my code section is 508-539-85 and i'll also pop this in the description for you so you can just scroll through there or you can just pause the video and then enter it yourself so click continue and as i said before the first app you need for the first and the second gen stick and the Fire TV is Clean Master TV. This will not work on the 4K stick. As I've said before, I've been in touch with the developers to see if they're gonna change the app and there's no correspondence. So if you're gonna do that one, click that button there and install it. And for the 4K stick, you need to click that one there and install that one. That's the SD mode. So that's them installed. Hopefully this will solve all your buffering issues and if it doesn't drop some comments down below slag me off do what you do Do what you do best so That's it guys, so I'd like to say thank you for stopping by I hope this solves all the issues that you guys are having the 5 gigahertz one is probably the best option Make sure you have a dual band router to unlock and if it isn't unlocked go into the settings like I showed you before unlock it yourself and that's it straight out so thanks for stopping by make sure you hit that like and make sure you subscribe 20,000 subscribers we have got a 4k stick to give away so you've got to be subscribed and you've got to like that button over there to be in a chance with winning so thanks very much guys i'll see you in the next one